Crowns and Hairstyles of the First Pharaohs In Kemet, crowns and hairstyles were linked to the identity of individuals and social groups, such as men, women, children and the elderly. They were used to convey social status. In 2008, archaeologist Jeffrey Tassi studied Egyptians' hair and hairstyles at the dawn of their civilization. He discovered the Kemites were experimenting with a broad range of hairstyles from the Proto-Gnastic to the First Dynasty. Then, they established an institutionalized hairstyle canon. This event coincided with the establishment of administrative institutions in the country. These codified hairstyles served as norms for identifying administration members or signs of authority. But something else piqued his interest. He noticed that pharaohs didn't always wear crowns, particularly in Kemet's early days. Only 3.44% wore the double crown or the red crown, and 5.17% wore the white crown. The remaining 69% wore something uncommon. Layered dreadlocks. He noticed that only these first kings of Egypt could wear that layered dreadlock style. It represented kingship.